Adopt-a-Home for Wildlife was developed and tested in a pilot study in 2017-18 to and resumed once three years of funding had been secured in late 2021. Sites in the project are called wildlife homes. Mark Couch and Catherine Kirch Couch, as well as Project Officer Ajame White, talk about their new wildlife home on Hibiscus Drive. So we're here at wildlife home number eight, uh, the garden of Mark uh, Couch and Catherine Kirch Couch on Hibiscus Drive. I'm Mike Pinkowski of the UK Overseas Territories um, Conservation Forum and one of the leaders of the project. Mark and Catherine are with me, uh, as is um, Azure White, the uh, lead project officer of this site, uh, and she's also uh, an officer of the Department of Environment. The voice from behind the camera is Anne Pinkowski, who is the producer and director um, of this series of videos. So, good morning, Mark and Catherine. Good, good morning. morning. And thank you for becoming adopters and for letting us visit your home, indeed your wildlife home. Uh, so could you sort of describe the home, the wildlife home, the gardens as it is at present and what you want to do with it? Well, um, this is a house that had been um, in rather poor shape when we acquired it. So we've actually been spending quite a bit of time um, working on both the interior and the exterior. Um, one of the things we learned while we were in the process of renovation was that the plot was much larger than we thought because it had been very, very overgrown when we first bought it. So we've actually now cleared the plot and one of the th and we have to actually completely um, identify what's here as well as add and implement um, more plants and varietals to it. So what we really liked about the wildlife project was the ability to actually identify what's on this property that actually is native and then stay true to native plants in Montserrat um, as we continue to improve and beautify the, the property. That about sums it up. Um, <laughs> to, to the point about improvements, uh, these planters were here when we arrived, so there are five of them, and we will plant these now with native varietals rather than uh, anything imported. Right. Now we know the, the scope of the project, which we had on Sunday, we can improve. Excellent. Um, we're very keen to have a range of different sites, uh, different types of sites in, in, in the programme as a whole. I think I should use your link to turn to Ashimay and say, what is it you're going to be doing here or what have you done here uh, from the point of view of the, of the project officers? So what we did so far is do a plant survey where we were able to get baseline data on the species of plants that are present. Um, we were also able to categorize them into whether or not they were invasive, native or endemic, um, also introduced. And that would help us determine the types of plants that you could find in this area, can grow well in this area and that we would like to keep or remove. Um, with consultations with the property owners. So we also did a vegetation service to get an idea of the types of pollinators and other insects that you could find on this lot and the types of plants that attract them. So that helped us figure out the types of flowers that we might, might want to plant and see if we we're able to attract more butterflies and other insects and beneficial insects that could help um, enhance the property. So, Ajame, did you find many um, native plants here or were they mainly in invasives that you needed to get um, under control? Um, it was quite a mix um, of both natives and invasives. Um, some plants that are introduced but aren't really termed invasive as yet because they aren't spread widespread throughout the island. But some grasses, for example, guinea grass, it is widespread and I think at this point you could term it invasive because of how much it's spread across the island. But they do also seem to attract a lot of insects and butterflies, so that's something you might want to keep in mind in terms of whether or not you want to attract pollinators. But there are also other grasses and other plants that are native that do the same thing. So those are things that we'll be looking at as well. Thank you. Okay. So do we want to have a look around? Yes, yeah, before it gets good. too hot and yeah. you can show us some <laughs> of the plants that uh, are needing to be zapped and some of the plants that need to be nurtured. That's what we need. <laughs> I mean, yes. Botany is completely new to us. <laughs> so is gardening in yeah. the basic terms. I, I'm, I'm not a botanist either.